this video i'm gonna show you how to install monster labs which is a mod that actually adds the kraken the ice golem which are bosses by the way a couple of spiders as you can see in there there's a frost spider in there in the video we'll find the a tree spider on the mistlands so yeah i want to say that this video is sponsored and you'll say oh wow shit you got a sponsor that's really cool and well that's also true but not true at the same time this video is sponsored by zodiac and what i mean the video is sponsored by zodiac the credits of me being able to show you how to install this mod are from zodiac so zodiac is the guy that actually taught me how to actually install this mod so it's kind of unfair that i just come in show you how to install the mod and then i'll just take all the credits for it so i don't think that's fair yeah he said i could do the tutorial so big thanks to zodiac thank you my friend very welcome and without more delays you know the usual drill like and subscribe if you want to see more of this i will be releasing a video also on how to install monster Namicon and the showcase on monster Namicon because again credits go to zodiac because he taught me how to install the mod he has his own dedicated server so let's just stop with the crap here see you in a bit guys okay so what we need to install monster labs okay so in the first place you actually want to download monster labs so you want to come and press manual download and you manual download here with the slow download simple easy no issue right good i'm not gonna uh, manual download any of these files that i'm showing you because i already have them downloaded ready except a couple of two that i kind of forgot i will download those one with you guys it's called another spawn that config files for monster lab z and i'll leave the links in the description uh, so don't worry about that manual download again you have two options it's very important that you actually choose this manual option and you will have to actually download spawn that rrr core and rrr monsters so it's easy don't worry about it we're gonna go into that straight away which is rrr core there we go you press manual download boom downloading rrr monsters manual download boom you're good to go it also said you need spawn that so there we go spawn that manual download slow download and you're good to go let's just press download here so you guys see and you just press slow down and there we go then i don't think you need yorum and yukgen which is pretty much a dependency for yorum but i will download yorum and yukgen anyway just because you know it never hurts to have it in there you, you might not need this but you just want to go ahead and download it anyway because it doesn't really hurt so you want to press manual download and you grab this hook generator and you grab the yorum i think by far you know what this is so menu download this one and menu download this one as well the links will be in the description so if anything goes wrong you're good you have everything downloaded as you see in here i have all those mods downloaded easy okay now i created a little folder called labs so you can name this whatever you want it's just pretty much a way for you to organize what mod goes into what folder pretty much so don't, don't worry don't sweat about it too much let me actually open that one and on this folder you want to create a folder called config patches and plugins so you create these three folders as you see they are empty there's nothing in here and now we're going to actually start to download these mods and put them in the right places let's start with the uh, yorum because i actually want to start with the one that might be useless for the entire video but well because i don't want you guys to miss anything i'd rather just have it so the only thing you need with, with yorum is the dll file and you want to drag that into your plugin so there we go there we go now you don't need this anymore boom gone and this one gone too you need the hook generator for this thing to actually work so this is a bit more trickier but it, it's nothing special so patches as you see we have this folder called bepinex mono mod hook gen you want to open this thing up and you want to grab these files and put them in the patches there we go you can see done complete you're good to go now you need to drag the config file easy again you open the config and it says hook gen patcher on this file you actually drag this file to the config there we go put it up this is all good you can delete everything that's related to the hook gen you don't need anything else so at this point uh, yorum is actually installed with the ddl with these three files on the patches and with this hook gen patcher on your config so this is what it should look like for now so let's go now for the rrr core and rrr monster so let me actually start with the rrr core just because you know it's actually the core for this thing to kind of work so we'll extract this in here and 
all that you need in here is actually the DLL. So you grab this DLL and you drag it into full, to the plugins. I'm sorry. And if you open the plugins, RRR core and Yotam. Okay. Don't need this anymore. Out of my way. Damn. Dude. Done. RRR monsters. Now what you do is extract air as well. And this one is pretty much exactly the same one. Pick up this DLL and you drag it into the plugins. And as you see, plugins, RRR monsters. I don't need this anymore. Give it away. Good to go. Nice. So now you want to grab your monster labs and I'm actually going to extract here. There we go. And it says plugins. And whenever you open the plugins, you have this monster labs folder. So what you actually want to do is if you open the monster labs, it's going to say that you have these assets and scripts. You grab monster labs, the entire folder, and you actually drag this to the plugins. There we go. So it, your plugins should look like this. I remember monsters, I remember core, Yotam, and monster lab Z, the folder. If you open the folder, you have the assets and the scripts. So that's pretty much what you should do. Simple enough. Uh, monster labs, you don't need it anymore. So you can delete that. Good. So now we have the config files and the spawn that. So let me actually download uh, extract spawn that in here good and the only thing you need is the volume spawn that dll so it's going to go the same it's going to go into your plugins so you drag this to the plugins just to give you a little rundown before we actually install the last mod plugins should have volume spawn that rrr monsters rrr core yorum monster labs folder with the assets and scripts so this is what your plugins would look like your patches will look like this these three um, files and the config will look something like this for now okay so now let's go for the config files you extract here okay so it's going to say monster labs and it's going to have all of this so what you want to do actually is drag this entire folder to the config boom oh never mind my bad to the config there we go so that's inside of the config done so all of the mods should be in the right places right now now the only thing we need to do is to drag these folders and the correct folders to the right places on the Valem directory. So that's what you're going to do next. So what I am about to do is actually just go into properties, local files and browse. And I think this is no surprise to you. At this point, you know what this is about. So you want to open your Bepinex, of course. And as you can see, you have uh, config patches and plugins. So what I will do is actually open up the labs Z and you have all the same folders so what you want to do now is you open the plugins you open the plugins here and you actually drag this thing inside this shouldn't be here it's here because i already installed hook generator it's going to install that uh, whenever you run the game for the first time so you don't need to worry about that you drag all of this inside cool plugins folder it's empty and everything it's in here okay nice so patches that's what we need to do i actually have already this installed because it's part of the what is it called the hook generator so you want to do the same thing you replace these files in here i'm not gonna replace them because you know it doesn't really make any sense i already have them in there so that's what you do and now you're gonna open up your config and you want to do the same thing you open up this config thing there we go and then you have the config and then you have the monster labs and the hook chain what you want to do is actually just grab this and put this inside replace the files it's because i already have hook generator there we go this is done and this folder should be now empty as you can see this one is not because i didn't uh, actually put it in there because i already had it so this is empty now and as far as i know the game should be working so let's actually try and load the game let me go and actually press play play valheim and let me leave this the console seems to be working with no error so far let me actually give it a check as soon as this thing kind of loads in the computer is kind of dying here a little bit let me actually do that now let me go and open this thing so missing audio clip music respond that doesn't really matter unity log audio clip it doesn't really matter but as far as i am concerned everything is actually working and rrr monsters true true so if that says true you most likely be fine so let me grab myself my character and open up my one of my worlds and actually see if the monsters are actually spawning naturally already it might take a little bit for the monsters to load in but as long as you just be patient a little bit it's actually gonna be fine oh there we go there we go there we go there we go three spiders there we go this adds a couple more spiders for different biomes as well but just to kind of show you that now you have a little bit of a population in some desert biomes but yeah that's pretty much it if you actually enjoyed the video drop your like and subscribe i would appreciate that very very much guys and as usual the video is over subscribe